If only a painting on the wall of a local home could talk. Legend has it it was painted by a bank robber inside the Rhode Island State Prison. Even more fascinating, a foiled plan to break the robber out of prison and the infamous mob boss tied to the crime. 12 News anchor Mike Montecalvo unveils the mystery in this week's Street Stories. When Elaine Caldemone's mom died earlier this year, she took this picture off her wall, but she had no idea what was behind it, and it could have been painted by a bank robber. So this is where the picture was? Yes. The mystery behind this painting. So this is my mom, June, and her older sister, my Aunt Carol, and it was painted by J.G. Miller, 1941. That's eight decades old. My mother had always just said it was painted by somebody who robbed a bank, so I just thought it was, you know, a starving artist who couldn't make a living and went and robbed a bank. Not quite. After two hung juries, John Gilbert Whitey Miller went to prison for robbing the Phoenix Trust Company in 1926, which at the time was the biggest bank heist in Rhode Island history. He went to prison, and in 1930, a few years later, on visiting day, gunmen came and tried to break him out of prison, and they brought guns, and it was just chaos. But they were unsuccessful at getting Miller out of jail. According to the Providence Journal Bulletin, in late April, two gunmen tried to break free James Pritchard Whitey McNeil and Whitey Miller after they started a riot at maximum security. The gunmen killed two people but were unsuccessful in their attempt to free McNeil and Miller. And the low meetings are going no place with a hot condition. Raymond Patriarca Sr. was indicted as an accessory before the fact of murder in the case, but the indictment was later dismissed. A little bit of Rhode Island history. Elaine peeling the layers behind this bizarre story and her mother June's picture. So when I moved it, there's the back of the painting, there was a manila envelope inside it, and that's where the photo and the newspaper clipping were. So I took it out and read the whole story and trying to piece it together. Now behind bars for the rest of his life, Miller became an unlikely artist. But while he was there, the prison chaplain taught him how to paint. And so he painted this picture in 1941. My grandfather, he must have seen one of his paintings. He was a CPA. He did taxes for someone at the prison, or I'm not sure who, but he must have seen his painting. And he brought in uh, the black and white photo and had it painted of my mother and her sister. Miller died shortly after that, leaving behind a legacy of crime and artistry. When you find this newspaper clipping, what's going through your mind? I'm like, oh, he was a bank bandit that robbed a <laughs> bank, and then he became an artist later on in prison. What else are you going to do in prison? June Amadeo died on February 1st of this year, but she leaves behind so many memories for her family and the story of this picture painted by a bank robber. Mike Montecalvo, 12 News.